Today's video is very special because in today's video, we are going to discuss a brand new program which is just launched. Yes, it is a brand new program pilot program which is started by province of Nova Scotia and this program is known as Nova Scotia Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program. This program is launched as a pilot program as there is a high demand of construction worker in province of Nova Scotia. If this program becomes successful, then pilot program will become permanent over the time. Let's discuss what are the benefits of this program. As per this new program, you do not need to create express entry profile. Secondly, under this program, you do not require CRS. Yes, there is no requirement for CRS score, which is very important and relaxing. Next, there is no requirement of ECA as well. So, you do not require an ECA report. And there is no PNP fee. Generally, there is a fee for PNP. Next, you do not require a degree under this program, which is great new for people who wants to move to Canada and do not have higher education. Next is, you are only required to have one year of experience related to the job. Let's move. You are only required to have CLB 4 or 5 it is very easy to get CLB 4 or 5 in English. I will also explain this video what does mean by CLB score. There is no age limit under this program. Anyone can apply who has age of 21 to 55. Lastly, you can even apply for jobs which belongs to tier 5, which is lowest job category. Before we start this video, if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, Please do consider to subscribe and do not forget to follow us on Instagram. I have provided both links in description and comment box. So please click on them to join us and you can reach us in case you have any question. I will discuss all details about this program in this video. Before we discuss Nova Scotia Critical Construction Worker Program. Let's see where Nova Scotia falls on Map of Canada. If you look at Map of Canada, then you can see that Nova Scotia is located at east coast of Canada. Also, I want to mention that Nova Scotia is part of Atlantic Canada, which includes four provinces. First is New Brunswick, second Nova Scotia, third is Prince Edward Island, and fourth is Newfoundland and Labrador. I have already made a detailed video on Atlantic Immigration Program. If you have not watched this video, I will leave a link in description and you can watch it. Before we move forward, I want to make it clear that it is a PNP program. Some people get confused when it comes to PNP programs. To make it easy for you to understand when there is a PNP program for any province. That PNP program is always divided into two parts. First is known as Enhanced PNP. And it is important to understand that under Enhanced PNP program, Express Entry Profile is mandatory. And you will get additional 600 CRS points if you get nominated under Enhanced PNP program. Second is known as Base PNP. This pilot program for critical construction workers falls under Base PNP. Under this program, there is no complicated process if you qualify under this program. And I want to mention that eligibility requirements are very basic. So most of candidate will be eligible under Nova Scotia construction worker pilot program. There is no point system and you do not need to make any calculation. You can simply launch your application. Let's discuss what is eligibility criteria for this program. Under eligibility, we will discuss two things here. First is eligibility requirement for employee or candidate or person who wants to work inside Canada. And second is employer's eligibility to be eligible under this program. Let's first discuss what is eligibility criteria for candidate who wants to work in Canada. Number one requirement is job offer and you need to have a job offer for permanent position, which means that job offer should not be for short period of time or contract job. So you need to have permanent job offer. Also, 
make sure that job offer is a full time, which means that you must be working minimum of 30 hours per week. If you are working less than 30 hours per week in Canada, then job is not considered as full-time job in Canada. Also important to understand that job offer needs to be non-seasonal, which means that job offer must be valid for all seasons. Next is job offer must be provided by an employer of province of Nova Scotia. Here I want to mention that job offers from other provinces will not be accepted under this program. Other important point is that your job offer must be from construction field. Here, I want to mention that you can get job offer from inside and outside of Canada, but your job must from construction field. Before we move forward, I want to mention that knock codes are also called tier codes, which is a five digit code. If you don't know which knock code or tier code you fall under, then you can find your knock code using knock code finder tool on the IRCC website. We'll just have to enter in your job title and you'll get the knock type and code. I will leave a link in description for it. It's important to understand that construction field has number of NOC codes. There are some high level NOC codes which requires a skill, for example, NOC code 0, 1, 2, M3. But there are some lower level NOC codes, which are for unskilled peoples, for example, NOC code 4 or 5. Let's have a look at NOC codes provided by government under this program. It is a long list and let's have a look at it. As we know that it is a five digit code, which is known as tier code. Here you can have a look at list and you can find construction managers, building managers, welders and machine operators, electricians, carpenters, crane operators, concrete finishers, drywall installers, etc. There are few tier codes which belongs to tier code 4 or 5 for which do not require and special skills. For example, material handlers, construction helpers and laborers. So in short, we can say that in field of construction, a candidate can find jobs which does not require any skills or unskilled jobs. So you can find skilled and unskilled jobs as well in Nova Scotia. Let's move. Second is education requirement. Good news is that you do not need any degree to be eligible under this program. You only require to have a high school diploma or if you have completed a construction specific industry training program, then you are also eligible under this program. You need to a proof that you completed construction specific industry training program. In short, you do not require any degree. So there is no requirement of ECA report. Next is language requirement or IELTS requirement. This program has very low language requirement. You only require CL, B4 or 5. So language requirement will depend on your job profile. If your job belongs to tier 0, 1, 2 and 3, then you need CLB or N, CL, C5. But if your job belongs to tier 4, 5, then you only require CLB or N, CL, C4. If you are confused, what does mean by CLB 4 or 5, then please refer to this table and you can have a look here. CLB4 means you need to have three and half band in reading, four in reading, four listening and four in speaking. Let's move. Next is work experience. You only need to have one year of work experience related to the job. It does not matter if you have recent work experience or your work experience was in past. Next is settlement funds. As you are moving to new place, then you need to have enough money to make your or your family settlements in Canada. You need to make sure that you have enough money to initially survive in Nova Scotia. The amount you need depends on your family size. Let's next discuss what are requirements for employers to be eligible under this program. I want mention that not every employer is eligible under this program 
Employer must have to be operational in Nova Scotia for at least two years. Employer must not be defaulter. Next is, employer have to be registered with Nova Scotia, registry of joint stock companies. If you want to verify that if an employer is registered with Nova Scotia, registry of joint stock companies, then open your Google browser and search here, Nova Scotia, registry of joint stock companies. Click on this link, which is an official website. Then again, click on this link. Search for business or non-profit information filed with registry of joint stock companies. Click on start now. Here, you can enter company name or registry number if you have that. To verify if company is registered on Nova Scotia registry. Once you search here, you will get all details about company. Once you know that your employer is genuine and a registered employer in Nova Scotia, you can finally apply for Canada PR for you and your family. First step is to submit your application on novascotia.ca slash ENSNP. You must need to complete NSNP100 form. Then you need to upload all required documents online. Once you submit your application, then you will be directly notified by government if you get nominated under this program or if you get refused. If you get nominated, then you will receive a provincial nomination certificate. Please remember that this certificate will expire after six months of nomination, which means that you have to apply for PR within six months. If your application has been refused by the province, then you'll get an email explaining why you are being refused or requesting some further information or documents from you. You'll then have 10 business days to submit new information to the immigration officials to consider. After 10 business days, your application will be reassessed, including the new information that you've provided. A final decision will then be made. Next is, you can ask for a letter of support for your temporary work permit. After you have been nominated by the province of Nova Scotia, you can request a letter of support from immigration officer. You can use this letter to apply for a temporary work permit or to renew your existing work permit with IRCC. A work permit lets you work in Nova Scotia while IRCC processes your application. The last step is to apply for permanent residency. Within six months of your nomination certificate having been issued, submit a complete application for a permanent residency to IRCC. If you want to have full detailed information about this program, then please do read this document which provides each and every detail you require for this program. I will leave a link in description. Lastly, let's discuss job websites and portals where you can find jobs under this program. First is Canada Job Bank. On this website, you can use Filter to find jobs in province of Nova Scotia and apply as many jobs you can apply, which will increase your chances to get a job. Second is LinkedIn. Indeed, Monster and Nova Scotia Job Portal. Jobs.novascotia.ca where you can find jobs available in Nova Scotia. I will leave link to this website in description box. I hope you guys find my videos useful. If you have any question, please leave in comment box. I will try my best to reply. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.